Hello everybody! Today we're going to be getting our feet wet with Subnautica. Let's take a look at it. Alright, so this is Subnautica. It's an early access game on Steam. Um, it is made by the developers known as Unknown Worlds Entertainment. If you've not heard of them before, these are the guys that came out with another game called Natural Selection, which originally was a mod for... Uh, I believe it was... Half-Life or Counter-Strike. I think it was a Half-Life mod, but um, anyways, it was a mod for another game, and then they came out with Natural Selection 2 a couple years back, which was a standalone game, and since then they've been pretty quiet, but now they're working on this absolutely gorgeous looking game, doing the whole undersea thing and survival, blah 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 blah, all that good stuff, and um, taking their unique alien spin on it. These guys are, are good with making aliens and stuff, so uh, we're going to jump right in here. Um, there's a few different modes here, and for the sake of the video, we're going to stick to freedom mode. Freedom mode basically just is survival, but you're not focusing so much on survival as much as like exploring and having some fun. Survival mode, you have to you have to find food and water. And the reason I'm not going with survival mode is because it's insane. You have to get food and water so frequently and so often that it pretty much takes away most of your time to do anything else. So, um, it's, it's, I'm not even joking. You can actually watch your food counter just tick down. Um, and then there's hardcore mode, which is basically the same thing, only permanent death. If you die, you're, you're, well, you're dead. So, we're not going to do those, um, because that's just torture, and I want to actually show you some of the cool stuff that's in this game. So, we're going to go with Freedom Mode. Nice. It's loading. So, the premise of the game is... Um, Basically, you're on some sort of like colony ship or terraforming ship, and you found this planet, and it looks pretty sweet. And then, um, as you're going to the planet, something shoots you out of orbit, and you crash on the planet, and you're the only survivor. Hey, you know. So that's basically all she's gonna tell you is that. So we're gonna skip that because it's just a bunch of text on the screen. Pretty much, she just says it in this kind of robotic sounding voice. Um, so here we are, in our escape pod. Now this is the first thing that throws me off, is if you look down, you can see your body, which is really trippy. It's a bit weird because you can actually see the base of your neck, which is like, physically impossible. Um, but, this is actually really cool for all the people that use uh, stuff like the Oculus Rift and VR and stuff. You guys can use that in this game and you can look around and if you look down you don't have that weird effect of like, I'm looking down and I have no body. You actually can look down and you have a body. So that's cool for you. I unfortunately don't have an Oculus. Um, let's see, we got an oxygen thing, a health thing. We've got, this is... Can I fix that? I would love to be able to fix that. Oh, I have fins. And some glass. And a power cell. Just some random stuff. Okay. Actually, wait. No, I'm going to put that in there. I'll keep the fins, though. And there. And look at that. I'm wearing fins. That's cool. If I take those off, do they... Let's just see. Oh, sure enough. I'm not wearing fins now. No, no, no. <laughs> give, give me those back. Alright, so as you can see, this is our world. Um, it is randomly generated, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the funny thing is here, despite how incredibly cool this looks, this is actually on the minimum settings right now. I had to turn it down a little bit for the sake of frame rates when I was recording. And um, it's gorgeous. This game is stunningly gorgeous. There's all kinds of animals and stuff. And I'm already going to start drowning. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Now it's not 
totally optimized yet, so there may be a couple of points where you actually see the frame rate dropping a bit, and it can glitch a little bit here and there. It is an early access game, but let's just go along here and start uh, collecting stuff. As the only survivors, we kind of need to start getting goodies. Hey, fish! It's fish! Grab it! <laughs> you can you can swim up and grab fish. Wait, what the heck is that? Go away, go away! Ow! Cracked my mask! Little bastard. I saved you though, fish. You are alive because I was holding you. I'm going to name you. What should I name you, fish? What are you? You're a Gary fish. I'm going to name you Gary. I know it's not terribly original, but so be it. This is my new pet fish, Gary. So I'm just going to swim around holding this fish because I can. Until I click the wrong button and then I release him. Sea moth fragment. Okay. Hey, it's like a manatee thing. Hello. Oh. Oh. Did you just fart? Nasty. Uh. Ugh. Okay. We're gonna. We're gonna move on. Stay away from the farting manatees. Should we call that a fartity? It's a fartity. Um, okay, so you can see our, our big crashed spaceship over there. Um, they have recently just added uh, some, or they announced some uh, upcoming updates that you're going to be able to actually go over and explore the wreckage of that. Um, right now it's just kind of there. It is actually three-dimensional, I believe. So you could potentially go around it, maybe? I don't know. But they're going to add some stuff so that you can actually go over there and check it out. But uh, we can either climb up on top of this escape pod. Or we can go down through the floor and come up underneath it like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Oh, it must be Gary. She discovered Gary. Or it. I guess it's my AI. So I'm just crafting a bunch of resources with the hopes that I'll be able to make something cooler soon. Um, there's a little analyzer here. I picked up this little question mark thing. It's a fragment. If I shoot that over there, um, it will start scanning it, and then I can build it, provided I have the right resources. Do 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 do. What can I make? Small storage cube. Oh, knife. I should make a knife. What? No, take. Bring back out Gary. That noise get can get to you. It's just in this ear. Just, uh, and that's in the other ear just for balance. Ah. Okay. There are some rather annoying sound effects in this game, but we'll come to that later. Um, what do we want? We want a constructor. So we're going to need a power cell and a titanium ingot. I think I have a power cell over here. Get, get, yeah, bye bye. Constructor! Woo! We can already build it. Sweet. This will allow me to... build uh, submarines and stuff once I finish scanning that blueprint. And this would be another one of those sound effects that is utterly annoying. Uh, we need some coppers, some more glass, and some power cells. 
Turn it to the oh, God, that is so annoying. What do you think, Gary? You annoyed? I'm annoyed. You're annoyed? Yeah. Gary talks to me. He's he's my buddy. Gary's a good guy. Good fish. See, look at him. He's so tame. He's just chilling out right there in my hand. Oh, they have little mouths. It's a floater. And you can pick it up and oh emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen. They can't remain. actually hold up the <laughs> the weight anymore. There you go, floater. Be free. Go back to your people who sunk. Actually I'm really curious. If I just take this and just let it go. Oh, I think I just stuck it back on. Okay. Be free! Okay. Apparently they really like that thing. They are attracted to the potato-shaped rocks. And over here, these lively little fish with the ginormous eyeballs are called peepers, I believe. Oh, and they also are not very social. Hello. Come here. Come here. Come here. Got you. Oh, that's creepy. I also love how it's so limp despite being underwater. But, I mean, there's loads of stuff in this game. You can actually come over here and just start digging up sand. Emergency. Ten seconds. And you can see I've actually made a hole in the land. There's day and night cycles. There's it's, it's awesome. Where's all the sand I got? I guess it doesn't actually pick it up. Hmm. But okay, Peeper, I don't really need you, so you can be free. Ooh, look at all of this. Ooh, copper. I need lots of copper. Some quartz. Just kind of come through here and just grab everything we can get our hands on. Um, you're going to see, though, there's a lot of cool stuff at nighttime. You can already kind of see that stuff starts to glow. It's bioluminescent. It's it's really, really cool. Um, okay, sea moth fragment. We already got the sea moth blueprints. Oh, what's this here? These little bumps. Oh, we just finished analyzing that sea moth fragment. I want to swim down here and get as many of these little bumps as possible. Titanium, you can pick up the mushrooms. Okay. Swim! I've only got a little air left. What am I hearing? There's our Farda T still over there having a gas. <coughs> yeah, I know. Lame joke. I went there. Let's see. Fabricator, we want battery. Because I need a couple of them to make power cells. Um, some titanium. Glass, silicone, all kinds of good stuff. There is a oxygen tank. That is, that is definitely something we want. Can I make two? I can. So you can see now my, my oxygen over, over right. Actually, it's right above my head here, right here. Um, that is 
how much oxygen you've got. We started with 40, and then each one of those tanks I just made gave me an extra 30. So now we can actually stay underwater a very significantly long amount of time. Where's Gary? What do you think, Gary? Is this sweet or what? Again, this is still on minimum settings. It looks this pretty. Um, I'd love to turn it all up, but unfortunately, while I'm able to play it all turned up and it runs just fine, recording it while it's playing on those settings is not as easy. Ooh, more copper. Excellent. Some quartz. This little hoverfish. Whee! I like this. It looks like something I would stick in like the rear window of my car. You know, it's got little suction pads. What is this thing? Okay, random bit of nothing. Warning. 30 seconds for Whoa! Oxygen Holy crap! Uh, take the fish! Don't take me! Oh, he actually, like... He buggered. Okay. Ha! Oh, there are things that will kill you, yes. You do have to be a bit careful. I think the thing that's making that, like, roar noise is that the fartity, I think, probably. God, scares me. I hate that. That noise is like something you get out of, like, really, really old horror thriller movies, you know. Da -da 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 -da. I need a power cell and some more glass. I hate that noise. What? How did I... Okay. I clicked out of the window there. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay. Uh, we need a power cell. I can make one of those. And then we need glass. And I am... Not, I don't have any more glass. Oh, I used it in my tanks. I've got enameled glass and some titanium. So I'm gonna, gonna make a titanium bar. That's basically just to compact it. And we need more of that quartz. Let's go, Gary. These little warty looking things here are those bombs I saw. You gonna come get me? You gonna come get me? You gonna get me? No, you don't. Yeah. All right, you be gone. I need that quartz. <sighs> got it, got it, got it. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Woo! Dodging the bombs. All right, all that for one quartz. Let, there's gotta be a better way of doing this. Let's... Oh, these things, these are great. You know, like in, in Sonic the Hedgehog, where you're doing the underwater maps, at, or maps, levels, whatever, and you find those bubble things? That's basically what these are. You can, you can sit there in the bubbles, and they will actually fill up your oxygen. They're awesome. I wish you could actually, like, plant them somewhere. And, whoop. I caught a fish. It's an air sac. Bladder fish. some air while I'm here. It's cool, but it's no Gary. Your uh, rescue beacon or pod thing, <laughs> it's got a uh, beacon on it, as you can see flashing there, so that you don't get lost like a noob and can't find your way back and then die. 
because, you know, that happens. Uh, alright. I think I should be able to make a couple things of glass. Pardon me, Gary. I'll smack into the wall. Glass. Okay, I can make quite a bit of glass. Mm, some magnesium, because... Why not? What is that? Magnesium... You know, I'm just gonna drop those off. I'm gonna drop those off, too. And some of the copper. I don't think I need that much copper on me. And an air tech. Have fun in there, fish. I hate that noise so much. Can I make this yet? Yes. We'll get away from that so I don't drive everybody absolutely insane with that noise. So it is building. My Seamoth. And it dropped it right next to the farty guy. So here it is. Look at this beauty. You just farted all over my new ship. Man, that is so not cool. Disgusting. And, um, this is how you pilot a ship, apparently, is, um, okay, I'm, I'm not holding... <laughs> I'll just drive around like this. Sure. Why not? Alright, submarines are cool. You can uh, explore a lot deeper. They move a lot faster. And you're fairly well protected while inside of them. Plus, of course, you've got oxygen, which is which is extra cool. The movement is a little bit weird. And I don't know what it is, but for some reason my frame rate suffers more when I'm inside of a submarine than not. Um, you can also strafe with the subs. Here's that guy that was scary before. Excuse me. Hi there. Oh. Uh, hey, hey, don't chew on me. Stop it. Jerk. It's so pretty. I love it. So you can just get out whenever you want to. Um, of course, especially at deeper depths. You gotta be careful you don't get out and then right into something's mouth. Um, subs have a limited supply of energy, as you can see down below. It says press E to exit. Shows you your sub health as well as how much energy it has left. Ooh, hello. What do we got over here? Oops. We got me crashing into the wall. It's a bit hard to see. You don't really know how far your sub sticks out. What is that? Eyeball thing. Let's get a little closer. Hey, what are you? I I. Whoa! That is a weird looking fish and I kind of like it. <gasps> Stasis rifle fragment! Oh! Oh, yes please. Okay, let's go, fish. That's just, I like this fish. This is a cool fish. I have never seen this fish before. It is cool. You are now my new favorite pet. And... Yes, we did discover a new creature. There's a sea glide, which is one of those little things that... Um, I think they actually call them sea glides. That people 
hold on to. It's kind of like it's got a little submarine propulsion engine in there, but it's you don't you're not in anything. You just hold on to it. Um, great if you want to get along a little faster, but that's about it. I need a computer chip and a battery. I don't even know where I'm gonna get those. Okay, where do I make a computer chip? I need silver jeweled disc pieces. Why is this so complicated? All I want to do is make stuff. <sighs> All right. Um, so we need to we need to find some silver. Oh, we need to get that stasis rifle fragment. Oh, let's get that organ or er, analyzed. Yes, you. You analyze that. I want that stasis rifle. Oh, it's... It's nighttime. I was in there for a few minutes. Shut up, Sir Farts a lot. Alright. So, we need to go out and find some more resources. Looking, I just hit a fish. Sorry. Traffic underwater, man. It's brutal. Um, I am looking for... Oh, no. You're one of those giant... Where is it? Ah, I saw you. Oh, there's a couple of you, okay. Getting out here would probably be not in the best of my interests for health and personal safety. Gosh, dang it, there's tons of those things around here. Look at that, there's two more down there. Stay away from me. I didn't do anything to you. I just want some silver and gold. Silver and gold. What's with the red? I mean, they actually damaged me, didn't they? What's this thing? A speedfish. I've got uh it's it's got a handle. Lithium? Okay. There's different stuff over here. I got some gold. Here's a different looking thing. Uh Stasis rifle. I think I've already got one, but well, what the heck, I'll pick it up. Now, I think they are planning eventually to make this multiplayer. It's single player right now. <gasps> Silver! Excellent! Excellent! I think I needed two, though. Getting a lot of lithium. And I also think that I, um, run out of air Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. faster. Oh, more silver. Excellent. When I'm deeper. Like, the deeper you are, the faster you go out of air. Go out of air. Yes. Oh, hurry, 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 hurry. We are losing it. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. gonna let ourselves refill a little bit of air. You don't refill nearly as fast when you get into a sub. You start refilling back up again, but you don't like just <laughs> like you do when you're back up to the top. Getting quite a bit of gold, that's cool. I still find that hilarious. He's just like, ah, I'm flying with this hand and I don't know what I'm doing with this one.
How gutsy would you have to be to be willing to, like, get out of a submarine in, like, deep water on an alien planet where you know absolutely nothing about the ecosystem? I mean, I don't know what's out here. I don't know what's edible. I don't know. Like, that thing could be, like, super insanely poisonous and, like, just looking at it kills you. And, you know, there's, there's no telling. Although the big things with the teeth, I'm pretty sure they're just dangerous by default. <gasps> I unlocked the stasis rifle. Okay, sweet. We're going to go back and uh, see what it takes to make that. It, it, it's a strange noise, but that one I actually kind of like. What are you doing? Go. Get in the... in the pod. Alright, here we are. Stasis rifle. I need an advanced wiring kit and a power cell. How do I make an advanced wiring kit? A computer chip. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um, wiring kit. I mean, how do I make jeweled disc pieces? Gonna try to stop running into the near. Okay, they're busy right now. Quickly, let's get in it. Oh, talk about timing. That thing just hit me. Some more quartz. What? Ah. Oh. Fine, you know what? I'm going to set the spade fish free. Bye. Be free. Enjoy your life. Gary certainly is here in my hand. What else can we do? Um, I don't think we need that, actually. So we're going to drop that. So I want to make a builder so that I can make an undersea base. Because I heard you can do that. And it seemed really cool, so... Where's my... bum ba bum 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 Back to the base. Not getting a whole lot done here, unfortunately. I hate that noise. Picking up all these acid mushrooms, which do not sound like something I should be touching. Battery. There we go. Now... I can make a flashlight. I don't want to make a flashlight. I want to make a advanced wiring kit, which means I need to make a regular wire kit. Plasteel ingot. Hang on a second. Didn't I need a plasteel ingot for this terrible... I... Oh, I hate this thing. Dear developers, please Please get rid of that. I need five class steel ingots. Oh, okay. I need a. <gasps> no! I dropped Gary! No! Gary, come back! Ah, <sighs> don't scare me like that, buddy. Jeez. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I didn't want to go in there. Um. Aren't those kind of far from the. I thought they were supposed to be. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, alright. 
Enamel glass requires a stalker tooth. What's a stalker? And those might be stalkers there. What? Oh, oh, oh. oh. So, the equivalent of chopping down trees. Where's my sub? Quickly! I saw you down there. And you over there. This is the equivalent of the forests in this game. Actually, put more energy in this thing. Maybe you need to make another energy cell or something. What do you think, Gary? Dive real. Set an anchor in the ground, then just swim. So this is like if you're going through like some caves and stuff. I get it. No, don't. Uh, I get it. That's pretty cool. So like if I'm coming down here and I don't know my way around, I could be like, blam. Okay, try that again. Blam. And now, I'm not going to get lost, because I have my dive reel. That, that is cool. I like that. That is nifty. Oh, there was silver right here. Okay. Not that I would ever get lost anyways, because... You know, I've got... Yeah, not an explosive guy! No, 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 Well, guys, that's about all the time we've got for this episode. I will come back and revisit this a little bit more, show you some footage maybe a little bit later on uh, once I get some of the tools I need to show you, like, undersea bases and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm, I want to try it out, but I wasn't given a build tool to start with, so... No help in that. But anyways, as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget you can like, comment, or subscribe down below. Let me know what you think about the videos, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.